Dave, I know you probably get asked this every single year the FA Cup comes around, but you know, you've got this huge history in the FA Cup, the 30th anniversary coming up of uh, your great triumph for Wimbledon. I mean, it's nice to have that as a, a memory, something from your playing days. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, as you say, it gets dragged out every year in the FA Cup, um, especially at this round, at this stage when you get a lot of the underdogs against uh, the bigger sides. But, um, you know, obviously at that time we, we were still in a top flight. But um, when you when you look at the contrast between the two sides, there was a massive gulf between finances and and uh, like establishment. And it's one of those games where you know if Liverpool had gone and won it, no one would have really mentioned it ever again. But the fact that you've got this bit of history and stuff, and as, as the captain too, and you're I suppose you've got a, a particular moment in that game that probably stands out in your mind still. That everything about that kind of works, um, and, and that's what players play for, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you do have the romance of the cup and these early stages are what the romance is about but as we're looking at now that it is also the chance for some of the big clubs it's the, the chance of them to win their only only software of the season um, sorry silverware of the season so um, you know it does get an important when it gets to the latter stages of the competition if you think about back to that game how vivid is that in your mind that that day at Wembley back uh, 30 years ago does it seem like that long ago can you still remember stepping up uh, well having John Oldridge step up for that penalty yeah listen it's like you say it's, it's a thing that lives with you you know for the rest of your life and it's a good thing so it's something I don't mind being reminded about but it was 30 years ago um, you know we've gone through different experiences in the cup since then and um you know, hopefully that there's going to be a lot more uh, good things to look back on in uh, in my future in the cup. And obviously, for for a lot of the players, you know, there'll be players who've come into the club for the first time. Some of them might be going in there, you know, the first FA Cup runs, hoping to make a little bit of a run of it. The, the boys you're working with now, and and it's a special competition for for everyone at every stage of the of the, of the tournament. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably even more so for ourselves at the present. Um, you know, we need to to get, get our winning streak back again and um, there's no better place to start than the next game which is which is in the cup you know it doesn't matter whether it's a cup game or you know the next one's a league game we need to start winning and uh, so it's an important game for us yeah. and the fact is for, for you personally there's a little link there as well you had, you spent this uh, year over at Stevenage so a ground to you and a, and a stadium and a place that you know uh, got, got a little bit of an insight into yeah I know a bit about the place I mean I, I, I went over there on the you know, a part-time basis, just the fact that my son was a goalkeeper over there, and and they didn't have a goalkeeper coach, so it was as much to help him as to as to help the club. But yeah, it's a season that got us through to um, the playoffs in in League Two. Um, so you know, it's no mean feat for the club at the time. So it was good, but you know, there is a contrast. They've got great training facilities, but when you look at the the pitch in which we have done over the last week. It's going to be a difficult surface to play on, so we've got to respect that and understand it. It's actually been a bit of a fortress for them. I think they've scored a lot of goals in the last few games. Haven't lost many there at all. They've, uh, you know, they won't really mind who's coming to town. They're going to fancy themselves, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a game where there's no pressure on them. They can relax, and sometimes that's when when teams are are dangerous. And we know that, you know, they're going to look at us and our recent form and say. We've got a chance against these boys, so you know we. One thing we definitely won't do is underestimate them, and uh, you know we go there knowing that we've got a battle to to get through to the next round. And when there is that kind of golf in the divisions, it's uh, very important to stay as professional as possible and keep it in here, not to, like you say, not to underestimate and, and the rest of it. Yeah, professionalism is a thing that you you, you you shouldn't doubt. You know, it's got to be there all the way, and and the respect is there, and um, you know we've got to look and say man for man. We're better than them. That's why we're playing the championship and they're playing League Two. But on a day, um, they can raise their game, and we expect them to raise their game. So, you know, we've got to make sure that we don't let our game dip.